As the name suggests, the polydrone is designed to monitor pollution levels. Pollution has different types such as dust, hazardous gases, noise, light, UV and radiation. I will go through each of them individually. To begin with, one of the most harmful pollutant is dust. To monitor dust concentration, the polydrone operates on the principle of laser scattering. It is an active sampling method where constant airflow is passed through the system. The air sample enters through this inlet and exits from this outlet. Inside is a laser beam which continuously counts the particulate matter present in the air sample to derive the concentration of PM1, 2.5 and 10. Apart from dust, gases like SOX and NOX are also major causes of respiratory diseases. The polydrone measures toxic gases through active sampling by taking a sample of air through this inlet every two minutes. This sample is analyzed by different gas sensors working on proven principles like electrochemical, NDIR and PID. Complete gas analysis is done by measuring the concentration of SOX, NOX, ozone and carbon oxides. Our nervous system is highly impacted by exposure to excess noise. This downward facing noise sensor is ideally positioned to capture noise up to 140 decibels. The noise monitoring system constantly monitors noise level and derive logarithmic means like LMAX, LMIN and LEQ. Did you know exposure to excess sun radiation causes rashes, sunburns and even skin cancer? UV rays present in the sunlight are extremely harmful to the skin. The ambient light is captured from the paranometer dome on the top of the equipment which has various photosensors to measure UV radiation, light intensity and solar radiation from the ambient light. Through this probe, it measures atmospheric conditions like temperature, humidity and pressure. At the bottom of the device, you can observe there are three ports in addition to the power port which are given to attach external modules like anemometer, rainfall and flood monitoring systems. Such meteorological parameters enable us to identify the source and dispersion of the pollutants. Here, we've tried to include all types of environmental monitoring capabilities in one compact system. This makes it a comprehensive solution for smart cities, campuses, roadways, airports and many such applications. Polyu drone can be calibrated at three levels, factory, lab condition and in ambient condition through co-location. Post installation, the equipment can be periodically calibrated on site for consistent accuracy. Now, let's get to the basic requirements of any IoT hardware, power and connectivity. This is where power input is attached. It can be either through external power or solar panel. For data communication, it is available with a range of wireless options like GSM, Wi-Fi, LoRa, Sigfox, narrowband IoT and wired options like Ethernet and Modbus. This equipment which I have with me is our GSM variant, whereas this is the RJ45 port for Ethernet based connectivity as a secondary communication. The entire purpose of Polydrone is to monitor environmental data. Let me elaborate on data accessibility. The real-time data is collected on OISOM IoT platform which can be hosted on OISOM or the customer's infrastructure. The data retrieving intervals can be configured remotely as per the application. This data can be integrated with outdoor LED displays, any third-party applications using our secured APIs. The data can be further visualized and analyzed on our data terminal which can extract actionable alerts, print ready reports and historical data analytics. The data is also accessible using our mobile app. To know more about data accessibility, click the thumbnail below. 